TVA, that's Super Game Talk Video Alpha. I'm your host, Klaus Murderbear Vanderkill, and uh, this is a show where we like to look at some of the video games on IndieVideoGames.com. It's kind of what we do, kind of what we've been doing, and I like doing it. So, uh, welcome. And in case you forgot from last time, we had uh, Wardy do Twitter and like Quackers do the announcements. We switched it back because like Wardy was scared of Twitter, and I don't blame him, but um. We made a deal with Quackers that if he was on his best behavior, that I'd let him host episode 50. But, uh, this is only episode 44, so, uh, he's gotta, he's gotta, like, prove it for a little while. So, um, let's go to Quackers. He's on Twitter, like I said, and he's gonna tell us who's using the hashtag SGTVA. All right, Quackers, here you go, man. You gonna be on your best behavior? Oh, heck yeah, dude, like, I'll be on my bestest behavior ever, like, I won't try and, like, Drop a giant sandwich on you, or steal the show and take it to Mexico, or, you know, try and burn you or stab you, or, you know, anything like that. Nah, man, I'll totally be, like, the best duck ever. Well, um, I noticed you didn't mention guns or anything in your little list there. Um, you can't shoot me either, okay? Ah, no, I won't try and shoot you either, like, I'll just have to add that to the list, though. Gotta remember, don't shoot him. Okay, um, so, yeah, um, let's see who's using the hashtag, SGTDA. Next up, LLC says, Screenshot Saturday. <laughs> Lol, forgot the photos of the apartment. Face bomb. <laughs> and he's got some pictures for a game he's working on or an apartment he is trying to sell. Probably the first one, I don't think the second one. Game Calendar says, Fall Between Two Stools. This app is a combination between game and calendar. But you don't care of it, exclamation point. You can enjoy game and calendar at the same time. Let's try it. And they got like a picture of some squares and numbers. It looks like it's probably a calendar. Um, there's like some dice and standard and World Inventors Day. Turquoise Revival Games just has a bunch of hashtags and uh, some ads and uh, I think the Wardy might have done this one, because I saw him get all scared of the spider, like, bro, there it is, go, whoa, oh, yeah. Yeah, he might have done this one, but hey, you know what, man, it's cool, like, I like swords and spiders. Ooh, that sounds like a good name for a game. Copyright 2020, Crackers. Well, that's all the people using the hashtag for this week, uh, sure wish some people would use it more often. I'd like to, like, you know, talk and stuff, so, like, yeah. Give me something to talk about, guys. I want to be on my best behavior so I can host the show. So, uh, use the hashtag SCTVA. That's you, man. All right, thanks for that, Quackers. Yeah, like, use the hashtag, man. SGTVA. Not too hard. Anyway, let's check out a video game that's on IndieVideoGames.com. impromptu review and uh you know what let's do this impromptu review on pumpkin butts halloween dream by skyflyer studio <laughs> pumpkin butt that's a good name i should call quackers pumpkin butt and then there's nothing he can do about it because he has to be on good behavior uh okay let's get to the game here though uh set in the dragon force universe pumpkin butt is trapped inside a halloween dream world he can escape the... Can he escape the rising castle towers? 
The dank dungeons, perilous pyramids, and ghastly graveyards? Oh no, those are all, uh, very scary things. Um, that's probably why they are in the Halloween dream world. Uh, and what will become of him when he wakes up? I don't know, he'll probably have to, like, go to work. I mean, that's what I have to do when I wake up. Um, anyway, they got a really cool, like, uh, picture of some art of the guy. <laughs> He's got a pumpkin on his butt, as his name, uh, namesake, uh, happens to be. There's some pumpkins and some bats, and that's actually a pretty cool piece of art. I can't draw that good. I doubt many people can draw that good. That's pretty awesome. Um, they do have a video, so, uh, you know what? Let's check out that video. Oh, he's in the graveyard. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, he got some slime on him. Ectoplasm, probably. Oh, oh he's running. And he's running. Oh, giant skeleton man. And, uh, kicking up the skulls, because the skulls are like, oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. That was really fast. All right. There's fart noises, because he's a pumpkin butt. Oh, that was rad, too. Oh, look out for the minecart man. And more skeletons. And he's at the pyramid. Pumpkin butt's Halloween dream. Download it for free. All right, that was, like, pretty, like, short and sweet. I like that. That's a good, like, that's a good commercial. I should let Doc know that he's got a good commercial here that he can use in future episodes. I got a couple of screenshots here we can check out, like, uh, Rise to Escape Castle Towers and, uh, Avoid Stinky Pumpkins. That's, you know what, that is just a good life tip. Avoid Stinky Pumpkins. Oh, uh, they got some, uh, graveyard stuff, uh, dodge stuff, uh, booby traps, and <laughs> booby. And then they got this graphic down here that's a uh, Bumpkin Butts Halloween Dream. Well, Skyflyer Studio, uh, you get a thousand points. And thanks for uh, making this uh, Pumpkin Butts Halloween Dream game. Uh, it sure amused me. And uh, you know what? I bet Quackers will love this one. I should let them know about it. I'll be nice. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the show. And now's a part of the show where we like to talk to Doc. He likes to let us know all the updates on IndieVideoGames.com. And uh, Doc... I heard you were still working on that, uh, working on that new design for the website. How's that going, man? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Claus. Um, uh, I actually had a breakthrough recently. A creative breakthrough. Um, obviously designing a website is not just programming. You gotta come up with, like, a good look and everything. And I'm trying to do something a little different than what we've done before. But, uh, not too different, you know. Um, but I actually liked some of the new, uh, designs I've come up with. And now I'm gonna kind of forge ahead. Hopefully we'll have the new website done by, uh, the start of next year. So... That's kind of my update for the week. Back to you, Claus. All right, that sounds pretty good. What a way to, you know, ring in the new year. Um, all right, let's check out another video game on IndieVideoGames.com. Hey everybody, it's time for an impromptu review! And this impromptu, um, will be on... whack a fly by Gaming Chef. Ooh, whack a fly that sounds good. And it's made by a chef? Mmm, yummy. Um, are you sick of pesky flies? Uh, get revenge in whack a fly where you have your chance to crush as many flies as your heart desires. Oh, I like to crush them and then I make them into a little sandwich and then I eat it. Uh, use simple controls to hunt down and crush these pests and progress through increasingly harder levels. Just watch out for bees. Oh no, bees. Uh, I hate bees. Uh, their stingers will put a quick end to your crushing spree and your happiness. I added that last part. Okay, uh, there's a video, so, um, let's check it out. Do, 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 uh, new arcade mode, do, 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 uh, ooh, do, better smack the flies, or I mean, whack the flies, sorry. Uh, download free. Uh, try again, whack a fly. Oh, that was really short. Wow, that was like, only 13 seconds long. Oh, that was quick. Um, but, yeah, you get to whack the flies. 
for Android or iOS. What else they got down here? Are you sick of pesky flies? Oh, I think we already read that part. Um, uh, use simple controls to either tap or crush flies, or tap and drag your finger to crush multiple waves of flies at a time. Wow, that's pretty cool. I usually just use my tongue though. Um, whack a fly puts your focus and concentration to the test. Uh oh, that's not good for me. Uh, as you must quickly eliminate endless waves of flies. Each level requires longer and longer amounts of concentration to advance to the next stage. Ugh, that's not good for me either. Every level increases the threshold of difficulty with added flies and different bugs to increase difficulty. Hope there's not any more bees. I don't like bees. Uh, can you get a higher level than your friends? Uh, I think so. I don't have any friends though. Um, whack of fly features, endless fly crushing mayhem, challenging gameplay, excellent focus trainer, and scaling difficulty. Whack of fly by gaming chef, and um, they get a thousand points. I really hope they make Eat a Fly though, that'd be like a sequel. I'd really like that. Can you guys do that for me? Okay, well, back to Mr. Murder Bear. And now is a part of the show where we like to talk to Warty, and he likes to read all those announcements that you've been posting on IndieVideoGames.com. Alright Warty, um, what you got for us this week, man? Thank you, Mr. Murder Bear. Boy, I sure am happy to do the announcements again. Doing those, uh, Twitter things, that was scary. Uh, anyway, let's see who made an announcement. Yay! <laughs> Link's Puzzle, a relaxing and brain-challenging game. Uh-oh, brain challenge, that doesn't sound good for me. Uh, a unique brain training puzzle game. A game for intelligent people. Oh no. Yeah, this doesn't sound like one for me, but it does say a brain training game, so maybe it'll make me smarter? Uh, the video doesn't work, so I don't know. Maybe I should, uh, click the link and find out. But I can't do that on the show. Maybe after. Puzzle Night for iOS. Puzzle Night is now available on iOS and Android. And they got a video, and we can watch it. Oh no, he's a knight, and he's got a puzzle he's got to solve. That's probably why they call it Puzzle Knight. Oh, can he get the points? Oh, we got the row. Good job, knight guy. And another row. This is kind of neat. It's like you got to line up the things and make the puzzle thing go, and then you get the points, and you fight the other guy. I like this one. I still don't know if I could do it though, maybe I gotta do the brain one first. TNT Blaster! The new fun strategy slash puzzle game is now live on Google Play. Place TNT and blast down the construction under the line. We don't got a picture or any video, but they got a link, so if you wanna check out this strategy puzzle game, go to Google Play! Well, that's all the announcements we have for this week. Uh, back to you, Mr. Murder Bear. Well, everybody, that about wraps it up for this week on SGTVA. Be sure to check out IndieVideoGames.com and, uh, you know, get your game on that website. Because, like, if it's on that website, we might talk about it. That's pretty cool, right? Anyway, this is Claus Murder Bear Vanderkill signing off, man. See you next time. All right, so what's the over-under on Quackers, like, being able to do this, like? What do you guys think? Do you think you can, like, be on his good behavior for, like, what, like? Uh, well, I can't do math right now, but, like, how many episodes is that? Like, five? Um, yeah, I think that's five. Um, yeah, so what's the over-under? We should play some bets. Like, I'm going to try and antagonize him and piss him off and see if I can get him to crack. And, uh, then he won't get to host the show. I feel like that's a good revenge, right? Like, try to, like, ruin it for him. Because he's been ruining it for me for the last, like, 44 episodes or so. Just doing a show and dropping sandwiches on me. Better check that, uh, better check the rafters again. Make sure he's not back.
Got more sandwiches up there. <laughs>